Dirt is here at Tailgaters. We're going to do tip of the day number 32. Today I'm going to go over the importance of a chalk holder and how you can implement it in your game. The reason why a lot of people use chalk holders is so that they can have the same chalk. The consistency, that is important. There's no question about that. But a secondary component that a lot of people don't think about, and the reason why a lot of people use chalk holders, especially at the high level, or it doesn't have to be a chalk holder, you could put it in your pocket, you could put it, snooker players put it in their in their best. This just it's a little cleaner. Put it in here, and then you take it, you chalk, and then you put it back here. Just it's less messy. But the reason why it's so important is because you're always using the same motions in your pre-shot routine. You hear me talk about pre-shot routine a lot. So where it comes in, I'm going to show you what I do, like my pre-shot routine, and how it falls into play. So whenever I make a shot, as to say, and it lands here, the first thing I do is I step out of what's called a shooting box. So I always envision a little box around here. If you are inside the box, you should be down on the ball, shooting, concentrating on the point, and following through and staying still. All of the decisions, where you're going to land your cue ball, where you, what spin you're going to put on, all that, finding the line, that's all done outside of the box. So what they do is, what players usually do, and what I do, is I'm outside of the box, and I'm finding the line, I'm making all my decisions. So then when I put it, my chalk in here, it's now time to shoot, okay? So what you would do is you find your point of reference. I'm picking a spot where I want to be, not where I don't want to be. So that was, I think the tip of the day number one was picking where you want to be. So in this case, you don't want to be thinking, oh, I might sewer. You never bring that into the, into the equation. You say, what do I need to do to land exactly right here? So you pick the spin, the everything. I step into the shot. I've already picked it. And now it's just a matter of following through and staying still until it all comes to an end. Then, what's important about that team you're practicing is you can gauge. I was trying to get to here, so maybe I needed a little less right or whatever spin I put on it. But I stepped back out of the box. Now I got my shot. I'm making my new decision. Okay, I decided I'm going to make this ball. Let's say I want to draw the ball here. Okay, I visualize what I need to do. Chalk goes into here. That means it's time to step down the line and shoot. Okay. So now I visualize where I want to be. Follow right through. Stay perfectly still till the ball comes to a stop so that we can gauge our results. Where do we get? Where we close to where we want to be? Step back out. Pick a new thing. Start chopping. So you're making all your decisions while you're standing outside of the box. So you can have the confidence to know that when this goes in here, that is the switch that it's time to step into the shot and follow through. If I don't like it, I can't change and don't do that. I would have to step back out, reach up, train yourself. These sound like small details, but don't skip those details because they are gonna creep into your game when that's how you miss easy shots is you you skip steps. So if, you're, if you want to develop consistency in your game, this small little chalk holder is more than just a chalk holder in the sense that it's also a tool for triggering, it's time to get into my shot. Into this, step into it, and stay still until the cue ball comes to a stop, okay? So if you need one of these, we have little tailgaters ones. I sell them with magic wraps, stuff like that. Very inexpensive, I sell these chalk holders for like five bucks as you fail really on them. But it's getting, if you don't have a chalk holder, I highly recommend you get one. It doesn't matter if you, it's not, a, they are expensive, but the key is you don't want to be reaching for chalk. You're always reaching, and then you get out of your pre-shot routine. You can get back into it, and it can't work. 
but it just becomes a lot more habitual. And you're gonna find the consistency in your game is gonna increase just because of a small tip like a chalk holder, okay? So don't forget about that. That's tip of the day 32, and that is the importance of using your chalk holder in your pre-shot routine.